Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Heather. I'm with um, by Heather Felke Creations. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm going to show you an idea that I got in my demonstrator magazine from Stampin' Up! It's the Stampin' Success uh, catalog or magazine rather and this is the August edition and they had this card here, this thanks card that I thought was just gorgeous. So I'm going to steal this idea and I'm going to go ahead and try it. I'm going to use some colors I have on hand. I'm going to use Rich Raspberry, Crushed Curry, and Dusty Durango, Crumb Cake, and um, let me see, this is Soft Suede. So let's get started. So I took a piece of vanilla cardstock here and I've already distressed the front of it um, with ink to paper technique um, with the Crumb Cake. So I've got this already prepped, and you could kind of see some of my stamping off um, my testing around. But what I did was I had this yellow felt, and I never use it, so I've created an ink pad with this felt. And what I did was I took my image, and I put it in some stays on ink, and I stamped my image on my felt. Then I used my reinkers, and I went ahead and put random color in different areas. So I would have my own little custom ink pad because I want to do a multicolor ink uh, stamping rather. Um, so I'm using this the artistic etchings and the occasional quotes stamp sets. Both of these are um, our hostess gifts. This is a level two for the artistic etching, and occasional quotes is a level three gift. So both of those are available. Oh, excuse me. Artistic Etchings is not a hostess gift. This one is actually one you can purchase, but the Occasional Quotes is a hostess gift. I don't know why I thought Artistic Etchings is one, but you can actually purchase this one, and it's a brand new one. I'm also going to use some eighth of eighth inch taffeta ribbon it's in black, and then I have some Dusty Durango cardstock, and um, some Rich Razzleberry that I've already embossed using my uh, Sizzix Stampin' Up! Text, uh, square Lattice Texture Embossing Folder. And so this is all ready to go. Alright, so now that I have my ink pad here, my custom made ink pad, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my medallion stamp from that artistic etching stamp set and I'm going to just kind of tap it in and rotate it and then I'm going to stamp off on a scratch piece of paper because I don't want it real dark. And then I'm going to stamp here on the edge of my vanilla cardstock. Then that way it's just kind of faint. It's not as dark. Okay. And I'm just going to keep going down until I have created a full border. It's really important if you want it to look aged that you do stamp off, that you don't do it directly to your paper. But if you want the brighter color, then by all means you can stamp it directly because it is beautiful when it's at full strength. But I just wanted something subtle. Okay, so now I'm going to take my soft suede and my Eiffel Tower stamp and I'm going to go ahead and ink up the stamp. And then I'm going to stamp it here. In my sample that they gave me, uh, they actually show cutting it out. I skipped that step because I thought, felt that um, it wasn't necessary because it's really hard to tell that they even did it in the first place. So there I have my Eiffel Tower. And now I'm going to take my sentiment, which I had right here already. It says, Love Begins in a Moment grows over time and lasts eternity. And this time I'm going to ink this one up in the Black Stays On ink. Oops, let me move that card out of the way. That was one I already had made earlier. Okay, so I'm going to ink this up in Stays On ink. Stays On is one of my favorite black inks, so I use it a lot. And I'm going to put it down here at the bottom. Okay, I 
ahead and put my cap back on. And I saw this idea in a video with stays on ink. If you take a couple of glue dots and um, you put it on the plastic, then when you take go to take your cap off, the plastic comes off with it and the plastic then seals it when you close it to keep your ink moist. Okay, so now, moving along here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cardstock here that I've pre-cut to a standard size card and pre-folded, scored and folded, and actually before I do that, I want to take some gold smooch ink, I'm going to shake it up here, and I'm just going to do just a little squirt, maybe one more, whoops, just to kind of give some color. Okay, let me grab cloth here because I got a little ink there. Okay, I'm just going to lightly tap that off on my scratch paper here. All right, so while that dries, actually, what I'm going to do is, I guess I'll use it while it's a little damp, it's not bad, take my snail adhesive and I'm going to start putting my card together. Okay. I'm going to put it on this end here. Oh, yeah, that gold really looks nice. I don't know if you can see that on camera. And then I've already put some snail adhesive on here, but I'm going to... Um, add a little bit more because it's not quite as tacky as I wanted it. The nice thing about snail adhesive is you can use it for ribbon or um, textured paper. It's a really good adhesive. Okay, and then tack down my rich raspberry cardstock and use my paper snips here and trim off the excess on the end. Okay, so there's that. And then lastly, I'm going to take my taffeta ribbon and I'm going to tie it around here. I think I want it a little towards the top, the knot, just so to so my card's not so heavy on the bottom. time my bow today. I don't know why, but that's okay. Let's get it in the spot here. And I just love that, you know, adding this little bit of black um, really brings out the uh, <clears throat> sentiment on the bottom. Just trying to got a little twisted here, so straighten that out a bit. Okay. There we go. Okay, so there is my card that I copied right out of it, out of my book, and um, I think it's just gorgeous. So hopefully you like this card. If you do, go to my webpage, which is h felky h f e l k e y dot stampinup dot net, and you could go ahead and purchase this set for yourself. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.